what's going on guys just out here running my slash i'm running it on of course 3s lipo with the uh, 20c lipo in it 4000 milliamp and just getting re-familiarized with it <laughs> i haven't driven it in so long well i ain't gonna say so long it ain't been that long it's been like a week or two at the most <laughs> so He's trying to get up a little bit. <laughs> so you guys know that I did, uh, this goes about 43, about 44, I think it was, 44, 45 miles per hour. It was 44.6, so basically 45 miles per hour, if we're rounding up. And a lot of times that's fat, that's fine for me because I have eight scale buggies, and I always say this a lot. If I really want to go faster and something that's faster that can handle the speed, I would go A scale. Um, I can always put a short course body on there because these short course trucks are basically the size of an A scale, <laughs> literally. But I'll tell you guys this um, people have gotten slashes to go faster than X01s. I think I saw somebody on YouTube doing there's about 150, 150, 160 or so. So that is a good thing, <laughs> in my opinion. And it held it. I mean, they just do some modifications to it, um, change some of the gearing out, re um, mount the motor a different way, and of course, change the tires and wheels out, and bam. And of course, they're using these LCG chassis and not the um, not the the high center of gravity one. But I think that's pretty impressive. I mean, of course, you're putting a lot of money into it, so. And I may, I don't know. I think about building, you know, particular speed cars, but I do have something I am building for that. And when I get my Arma Limitless in, that was going to be whenever they come in stock. Um, we'll see what we can do with that. So I do have a couple of things I'm actually going to do with that when I get it, but. You guys will see when I get it. Yeah, this is actually, I like the way this is running and handling because it's not too much power to where it's overpowered. I know the TSM, I got to turn up just a little bit. But it's not like it's overpowered to where it's just all over the place. I mean, it's, and I hate it when I have a car that's overpowered and you run and it's just all over the place. To me, it's not too much fun. Even if you try to control the throttle and how you run it. A little slash is getting up. I think at some point we'll probably see a slash 2.0 or something where it uses a, a clipless body which I don't think traction should go that route because it's just going to limit them to body choices but I do think they do need to release one instead of just doing another paint scheme for it um, release it with some stronger drive shafts I believe the ultimate edition that came out the newest one this isn't I guess this is like version 2 or 3 um, I think it does have the Ruster 4x4 drive shafts on it, but people still kind of had problems with those as well. So, you know, if all this fails, go aluminum. <laughs> Can y'all see it? Can y'all see it? Wow, I knew I was going to do that. I was looking down at something. I see those people over there staring and uh, ran right into that, right? <laughs> I 
Ooh, I hit something down there. <laughs> this isn't going too bad with that little Venom battery in here. Alright guys, another run of this. Wanted to get this out and show this to you guys. I'll probably do some modifications later on, probably changing the body out or something like that. But we will see what the future holds. So anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.